A24 Civil War will be one of the most unforgettable and terrifying experiences at the movies in 2024. And I think even for the years to come because of how real and raw Alex Garland actually made this movie feel out to be. In a way, it kind of feels like a glimpse to our actual future if things don't really get learned but that's for a completely other discussion hi my name is zach i am here to talk about civil war this is my movie review for this it will be non-spoilers and to kind of give a little bit of perspective alex garland is truly one of my favorite filmmakers working today ex machina is still my favorite a24 film i love 28 days later i even really loved annihilation and men i thought it was a little bit underrated i think a lot of people hate that movie too much but civil war kind of feels the culmination of what alex Alex Garland has been trying to do with his entire career and specifically what he does with genres and genre bending and he takes on the war genre this time around and tells it in a very unique and different approach than I think many filmmakers have ever tackled before and that's because it's not from your typical general or sergeant or military point of view it's from journalists point of view the journalists that take the pictures that show us what is actually going on in war-torn areas and the fact that he's taking a journalistic team having them journey across a dystopian future america race against time to reach dc before a rebel faction descends upon the white house and tell a story about what is happening in again the dystopian future america we're seeing here it's it's heart stopping it's thrilling and it's real and it feels raw at times, specifically in some of the imagery that Alex Garland captures here. And I think there's going to be a lot of conversations and a lot of debates on this film. I mean, already it's already starting whether this movie needed to be made, whether we needed this film now, or whether we didn't need this film at all. Maybe it could even tear our America apart a little bit more. But speaking on just what a film is able to do, I think that is what film is. Film is art. Art is to have those different discussions and have those different subjective opinions. And I'm excited to have those down below in the comment section. So make sure to leave your thoughts down there. Hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into Civil War, the movie event of 2024. Absolutely one of the most unforgettable movie events of the year. And for me, war films are kind of unforgettable into a lot of different standards saving private ryan for me is still the best war film to ever be made and then you can look at apocalypse now full metal jacket platoon black hawk down war films have very much been a big major part of our lives and when you look at tv as well band of brothers the pacific and even jumping into the video game genre call of duty battlefield medal of honor all of these things in a way have desensitized us to war and it's been a long time since I have seen a war movie and gone, fuck, Civil War made me say that exact word multiple times. It made me feel on the edge of my seat multiple times. In fact, sometimes I felt like my heart stopped at multiple times. And I feel truly that Civil War might be one of the best interpretations of what war actually feels like and what into the thick of it feels like a lot of that might be because this film takes place in our own backyards but i also think because right after this movie i started diving into my research on war journalists what they grab what they approach and something that i instantly recognized was a lot of things that are captured in america in here are things that are happening in other countries around the world within their wars and I think there's a lot of heartbreaking nature to that. And I think what a lot of people who go and see this film for the very first time, who maybe have their eyes closed or maybe just aren't paying attention to the news or media or anything of that nature, might start doing research themselves too and see these little approaches and see what Alex Garland is trying to tackle here. Because I think there's a lot of things that Alex Garland doesn't want to say here, but is trying to show here. And I think this film is a lot more of showing and showing its actions than delivering monologues and dialogue. It's a sh more of a show and tell. And sometimes they say, actions speak louder than words. And I think Civil War is one of those movies that does showcase that directly. Because for the simple fact of when you're watching this movie, you can watch these four journalists who have to get gas at one point and they pull up and they see three armed people. Can you trust them? Can you not? 
Are they going to be civil about this, about you needing gas? What's the debate going to be? And just one little small moment like that can become one of the most thrilling moments of 2024 in cinema. There's multiple points throughout this film that are like that, whether it's something subtle and small to that nature or to where you see armed soldiers burning and burying bodies. And again, you don't know who they are. And the same thing goes is that you could see them taking photos, being right behind these guys shooting other people and capturing these moments. And to being into the thick of it, one of the things that I really loved about this was that journalistic approach, like I mentioned. The fact that Alex Garland wrote this film with four main characters who are all main journalists, all in different points of their lives, two of them being the head honchos, the prime, the peak of their power, the most popular people into the industry. Then you have one old veteran and one newcomer who wants to look up to them and be just like them. And having these four be able to interact, having these four be able to touch throughout the entire storyline, their past, it's really fascinating to say the least. And one of the few things that actually made me interested to continue watching this movie because of those thematics. And again, what Alex Garland is able to do with these characters, show that desensitized nature that a lot of us now get nowadays. How does the approach change for one person who's never seen someone get shot before to another person who's been seeing it consistently, who started this to hopefully one day show people this is what's happening in this world. We need to forego this as a warning. And Civil War tries to show this. And it speaks louder into those words that yeah, these were all warnings. These are what these journalists are trying to show that are going out in our other worlds and other countries. We don't want that happening here. In a way, it's a call to arms, but at the same time, the one thing I also really liked about what Alex Garland did with these four characters is that while you understand why they're going to these certain lengths, there's a certain approach to it that I kind of sat there going, well, yeah. I don't really know what their perspective is on this war. Clearly they think war is bad, but there's always this discussion of which side are you actually on? It always feels like everyone has to try and choose and pick a side. And usually when you watch a movie, it's that same way, shape and form. Alex Garland is very specific to not share that. And also to not share why are these two nations fighting? Why did the United States split up? Which might frustrate some people, and we'll talk about that in my nitpick. Very subtle approach that surprised me. I think the other thing that really impresses me about what Alex Garland does here is showcasing him as a director and how he is able to give these instances, speak volumes, and also thrill you to no end. The sound design in here is absolutely impeccable, and it is truly one of the things that kept me riveted. The last 30 minutes of this film is some of the most intense stuff that I've had in this entire theater, if not the most intense film that I've seen so far this year. And yes, we got Dune. Dune Part 2 was an incredible feast of a film as well. For some reason, Civil War, with its raw and realistic approach, made it feel even more thrilling than anything else. Also, to say the least, the cinematography is gorgeous in here. Every single thing just looks so real. In a way, there's a documentary approach to this all, and specifically how Alex Garland frames a lot of this. When you see these journalists taking the photos, there's two different ver versions of it. There's a black and white film, there's a digital, and Sometimes when you see him take the photo, it instantly shows what they're viewing and what they just captured. It's a very unique approach, but it takes and slows the pacing down just for a second for you to view in on what the character just saw. And that one photo and some of them in here will be engraved into the back of my head for quite a while. I think to see that Civil War is very much just a, a paralleled look to what is going around the world today and what could one day happen in America, I think is the most haunting thing of it all and the most terrifying thing of it all. To imagine your home world, your world gone, destroyed, without law and without rules. I think with that said, that's about as much as I can say without getting into spoilers. So let's get into my nitpicks and my mixed aspects of the film. And I only have one small nitpick with the entire film, and that really comes down to the overall lore. Uh, they don't really dive into anything for this film. 
And I think that might disappoint a lot of people. For me, it was kind of on the afterburner. I was so invested within these characters that I didn't really think about, oh, why did this start out? Why didn't it? It's more just coming to me now as I'm starting to think about the movie. I think it would have helped just a little bit to understand the world just a tiny bit more. I think their approach is a little bit simple and just through character moments and character dialogue. But that's one thing that I do have to mention. Alongside, I did forget to talk about one last thing, and that is the performances. Kristen Dunst is absolutely phenomenal in here. Might be one of my favorite performances of her her entire career. Agner Mora is also excellent. Steven Henderson just continues to be an all-star and anytime he shows up. Haley Spaney is an absolute dynamite star in here. She was fantastic and phenomenal in Priscilla. Even to be made that she might even be better here and it shows how big of a range she has an actress and she's going to be an alien Romulus soon. She is one of the biggest up and comers and I think this might be her year to join the All-Stars. So yeah, A24 Civil War, I have a lot of thoughts. It's an unforgettable and terrifying experience through what feels like a glimpse of the future. And I think a lot of people might compare this film to like kind of a Black Mirror episode, but I think it's even so much more than that. Multiple haunting and heart-stopping moments that physically actually made me feel ill at times. And it's cr incredible direction from Garland makes this a must-see movie event of the year. For the good, the bad, and honestly, a, as a call to arms, whatever you might think this film is, it is one that I think will spark a debate and spark a discussion that I think a lot of us should probably have and maybe open our viewpoints and our eyes to certain things that a lot of us just have not seen. To kind of view Civil War as one perspective is, Look at what Oppenheimer did. One of the strongest and outspoken things that Nolan could have ever done with that movie. I think with Civil War, we're able to see a different approach that is also speaking volumes into that same category. With all that said and all that rambling I just did, I'm going to give Civil War an A. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and of course, until next time, stay clapped.